Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And we're gonna head over to the Carmy. We're gonna do there. Do there. We're gonna go there with a uh, Pegasus Swift. Here we're just gonna zip over. There's apparently a modder in session. We're not going to hopefully be in session very long before we're in a street race. And let's head over to the swap meet. I had something weird like that happen to me at the uh, swap meet where it walked, well then I fell through the floor, but I don't know if that was a, a modder or just something odd. So we're in the right part of the map. Where is that? Well, there's the race thingy. I remember. Where, 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 where. As we fly down. Now I am going to pull a car into the car. Because why not? Bap. Block this guy in. Because the um, there is a car that. I want to modify. It's not, gonna, it's not one of the tuners. And it's going to have a very pedestrian. Look to it, uh, and I really ride? should have looked up more details on it. But we're gonna take some license here. Then B1, now B2. What the heck is it? Is it the workshop? Hmm. Now it's a matter of where did I put the car before I get killed. Cape garage. Ha ha! So good. This will at least give us by. another spot Bye. in the. I'll get back to work. Another spot in the arcade because I'm going to move this over to the new, the new tuner's garage, and you'll see why. What's the big deal with a Segoy? I mean, the Segoy is a good car enough. It's not special as far as you know performance is concerned. It's it's not something that you'd really use. How did he kill all those people at once? Oh, unless they're all in one car. Let's get into the place where there's no beef. Let's get into the place of beeflessness. I'll just put my headphones on so I hear what's going on. Now the Segoy I got on a wild deal. LS Carby trade price unlocked. RT300. Auto shop contractability unlocked. Quick fix. We did some stuff. Uh, that guy's just killing people left. I'm guessing... And that might not be the modder. He can make other people uh, look like they're doing the killing. But let's mod this vehicle up. Give it the armor. And the brakes. Bumpers. Now, front diffuser. No, no. It's going to be pretty pedestrian, really. We might not. Sweep diffuser, maybe. I feel like it should have something, but it should be sedate. Let's go with the arc diffuser. Rear diffuser. Race diffuser performance. I think symbolically. I don't know if this is how it actually. We'll go with the uh, performance diffuser. Engine. Rev it up. Exhaust. The gallons leave the exhaust stock. The grill. 
the top trim and grill. That's all pretty, pretty subtle. Let's go rally grill. Hood. No, nothing carbon. Just a. Got the stock hood, carbon stock primary hood, which is a more plain. Let's go with that, and you'll, I'll tell you'll you'll see why in a bit here. Horn, standard. There's reasons. Lights, headlights, will Oh, we could go turbo custom, like we're gonna leave them alone for right now. Neon kits, neon layout, because reasons, because you need that. We're gonna leave the color alone. Livery, no livery. Is there, is there a subtle livery? The only thing I'd consider here would be a Ron livery. No. Mirrors. No, there's nothing really to change there. Respray, primary color, metallic. See, is midnight silver dark enough? From what I've seen on the the internet. I mean, it really is more of a gray what I'm shooting for. Got midnight silver. It's either black steel. Let's go black steel. Secondary color, metallic. Also black steel. I have to even see what, what it looks like. That, unless you put parts on, it doesn't affect anything. Trim color. That's pretty close to, that's pretty subtle. We could take some license here. Oh dear. Something happened. Something's happened. I can't do anything. Well, we're kind of stuck. I mean, kicking me is fine. Yeah, I'm frozen in my car. All right, well. I wonder if any of that will stick. We'll hit the find new session. Which hopefully actually finds me a new session. Doesn't put me back in with whatever modder thing is going on here. Alright, while we're, while we're staring at the cloud hoping to get back in after a modder attack. Um, yeah, the goal here is that the Segoy was on sale, and I found an opportunity here. If, if you watch the Choking Hazard podcast, and it's a few of them back now, and I really should go back and look at it and get the exact try a, kind of spoilers and stuff like that, but what I am building is the actual real-life car of YouTuber... Bruffy thirteen twenty two. But this is this this is essentially what he drives.
And so naturally, when it, when the Segoy was on a wild prime sale, as I recall, it was like 122k, I had to get that. Now, am I just simping? No, 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 no. I have plans. At some point, someday, I'm going to end up in a Bruffy stream, because I do get into them every once in a while. And they're going to do a race in that tier. They're going to do some kind of race with the Segoy, where the Segoy is a legitimate option and I it's it's one thing for me to race in Bruffy's vehicle but what if, if it's one of the ones where we're handing out cars and everybody's racing with Bruffy's real car I think that would be hilarious so I do have plans for jocularity at some point this is really such an in-joke no one's gonna really get it I don't think but Phil Hoff might. I can see Phil Hoff getting this. And let's get back down. I think it's not a bad car. It's too bad we can't drive this in the tuners races because I have a feeling it would be nicely balanced. Now naturally his doesn't have the ground effect lighting that I know of. But you need that for max performance, just to lower the center of gravity just a little bit. It's probably not a not an important effect as far as performance is concerned. I don't know you not then, Simeon. Does that mean I do owe him something? No, I don't owe him anything. I owe you nothing. You owe me everything, Simeon, and what have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? Du -du 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 -du. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, there's drama. There's a player. So this isn't the wildest build going here, folks. But we're going to finish it up. Would have been done already, but for a modder. You know, Rockstar. Couldn't you do something with this where if if some kind of checking, I mean, you know. Kind of a crappy parking place there, alright. Vehicle options, mod the vehicle again. Cause we're not done. Yeah, you know we could do. We could we could go full simp mode here. And then for the lights. Neon kits, neon color. Go with his. Go with his orange. Just so it's radiating, roughly thirteen twenty-two. And then we get to um, respray, trim color. This is what we were doing when everything went wrong. This car is not like that. I'm sure of that. But it's a stock roof. We're going to leave the stock roof, because I'm pretty sure he has a stock roof. We'll leave the skirts alone. Well, we can do the rally skirt, because we did a rally thing. Which, um... Do we have... Did we just do everything rally? Bumpers? Is there a rally bumper? No. We'll just go with the, the, the performance diffuser. No livery. No mirrors. No skirt. Spoiler. Fin tail spoiler. Oh, that's subtle. Then you can get wild, but secondary street spoiler, primary street spoiler. Fin tail's the most subtle, probably truest, but I, the the primary is just calling to me. Suspension. Slam that puppy. I don't know if they do the slam. It's not slam that hard, really. I mean, you know. Trans, yes. Turbo, yes. Wheels. See, probably want to leave them alone. I think that fits probably with pretty close to what the actual car is. We can eventually upgrade those. 
the bulletproof on. You can't put the drift tires on. That would have been funny. Tire smoke, orange. Windows, light smoke, because obviously. And so there, we've modded up. We now have our very own Bruffy 1322 real life car. That was a daily objective. Team Deathmatch Kalamugger. Okay, it's, we're not doing probably any of that, but hey, we did a thing. Now I just need... It's too bad you can't drive your car around here, but I guess people could get run over. And this is a no-beef area. Remember the, the lack of, complete lack of beef. I never remember... Where the heck you get the, you pick up the race. That that blue car over here? I think so. I'll figure it out at some point. Oh, there you go. There's a little thing on the map. I should be using that. I never noticed that. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'll, I, I will end up in the wall at some point. Repeatedly. It's an inevitability of ending up in the wall. It just happens. The ball is my friend. Okay, we're going to try. I'm alone? Can we do anything other than tuner? No, I'm the host. Time of day. I'm doing a, a day race. Weather bright. I'll leave all the defaults on for everybody and then we'll... Get ready to play. I'm not going to hang it out here too far. We got this. Let's go. Let's not make everybody wait. That's enough people so that we can get... If I can pull a top three, then... Then I can unlock the free car, in theory. Now, this is where it's a question, though. You have to do... You have to, to do three... Top three. You have to be in the top three of a street race... Three days in a row, that's the challenge to get the free car, the prize car, the, the prizey prize. Why does this guy look familiar? I don't know. Maybe he's just built like a character from another video game or something I've seen in a YouTube video. Maybe, maybe this guy will win. He's got the whole, the whole parking attendant look going. Alright, the car looks a lot better in the sunlight. I have no idea what track I'm on. We get the right jump. We've got the catch up. Will it be enough advantage? Oh, by the way, when I did Bruffy's car, the clown horn is because he seems to put the clown horn on every car. So, hey, why wouldn't he put it on his own? Why not? Okay, yeah, they're they're on me, but we can. I only need top three to unlock the prize vehicle. It doesn't like transitions where you go back and forth like that. That caught me out. Goes for the block. I go for the inside. I'm gonna have to break a lot here, but ooh, we we got the cut the cut back on him. Block a little bit. Get that acceleration. Cut to the inside. It's a good race. Come on, Calico. You Calico cat. Oh, I'm that sad. That's... That's bad. Did I finally find the Bumpy McBumpmeister or did I just get in his way? I don't know. This car is pushing. I don't think I've ever done this track before. I could be wrong, but this is... See, I'm very sincerely considering getting the Jester RR because I have a feeling, number one, it'll be more fun to drive. At least that's what's reported. And it'll be competitive enough. It should be almost on the pace of, of the Calico if driven properly. Because I don't know if I'm ever driving the Calico properly. I always feel like I'm using too much brakes just to get to not push through the turns.
Oh, there's been an issue. So at least I'm back in the hunt here. We're way ahead of last. So, I mean, we've got a top three. Potentially could unlock the car. By the way, I'm... Oh, my goodness. So yeah, we all... That, how did that catch everybody out? Okay, come on. Calico acceleration. I kind of was following them. I think they made the mistake, and then I... Okay, he's taking the short. He's not... I didn't know what the shortcut was. Still in third, so the shortcut must have really worked for him. Like, I'm, when I drive this car, I feel like I'm pushing the keys so hard. It's, it's, it's like you can kind of feel like you're fighting the wheel with it, you know? I think pushing the keys hard doesn't do anything, but there's like, why am I doing that? Because it feels like I'm fighting the wheel and my brain is telling me, you know, hey, push the keys harder. It's, the steering wheel's fighting you. Panicorn, okay. And we're catching up to the leader. So he must have had an issue. The black car is a bumpy McBumpmeister, I believe. So if you can get to him and wreck him out, that might bode well for us if we can take advantage of it. I'm in second, so something happened. Let's just try. I'm not even going for the win here. I'm going to be going for the drive clean and see what happens. Because if I'm trying for the win, I'm overdriving. And i got to just use the brakes... Wow, he's, see that gesture does move, and look how look how he's able to outturn me. And we got third. It was close though. It was a close third. That was not as bad as some races that I've had. Let's see, Canada Dry sugar-free cranberry ginger ale going on there. Can you hear the percolations? Not really. You really need a glass for that. Nickel full ASMR. Derpity Mount. I mean, he can he he can drive that Calico, I guess. I was only two seconds. I had second best lap time, so I'm not too bad. It's just not. It doesn't flow, you know? I'm going to vote business end, but... Alright, we could do home sweet. Whatever works. Something's going on somewhere. Is it loading or is it kicking me out? It's like the calico is effective but painful. So you have to go brake, accelerate, brake, accelerate all the time. You're forever pounding the pedals. Where I'd, I'd prefer something that flowed a little bit better. Like my Dominator GTT flows better, I think. I mean, you still have to use brakes on that just to get through the turns. But I mean, it's, it feels, even that feels like it flows better. I feel like I've had more success with it. I got kicked out. I don't know what happened there. All right, are we, are we racing back? Shall we use Bruffy's Segoy here just to... Oh, 
Right now I want to go see if I can claim. He's tailing me. Just clipped it. Yeah, well. He could pass me. He's just tailing. Deputy Mount. Can I claim the prize vehicle? And then should we race the prize vehicle? That's an interesting... Okay. Ellis car meet. Prize... See, now why is that a 2 or 3? Is this considered the same day because I have to wait 24 hours? Like, why wouldn't that count? Alright, I don't... I don't want to race the, uh, the Calico anymore. I just want to try something else. Let's see. Expensive, yes. But when you have 50 million, what the heck, right? Why not make yourself happy? What do we want to do with this one color-wise? Green, no. Hmm. You could chrome crew it just for the hell of it. Buy it right now. And we're going to put it in the auto shop storage. Now let's take Ruffy's wheels out here and I suppose I really should put off roads on it just because. That's another Bruffy. He, he, you know, he recommends the off roads. Put something similar in off roads. Chromed. Let's go down to wheels. Wheel type. Off road. Chrome rims. Yeah, fewer options with chrome rims, but. Raider. Nevis. I guess we could go stock rims and then paint them chrome, right? Rugged snowflake. I want something that looks like it could be a, st a stock rim. Now we're into the. <coughs> <coughs> Chrome Raiders for right now. Exit. So it gives it that little bit of. Now it's fully, fully performance modified here. Exit the LS Carmi. Easier than walking to the door. Probably gonna die, but okay vehicles. Return the personal vehicle to storage. My new Jester RR is available. Hey, somebody won the prize, Will. What the you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. Give me the Jester the RR. And no, we didn't move the properly move the other vehicle there, but look, that's okay. It's it's fine. We will get there eventually. So here it is. This is the alternate kind of top car. I hope so too. It's hard to get a fully stress-free day. If you have a low stress day, a low stress day, that's all you really need to do. We get in the no beef area. Left control. Mod the vehicle. Well, let's do the basics first. Brakes, race brakes. Engine, engine tunes. Get me. I want. If I ever drive, I want this to be drivable. 
headlights. Interesting. Oh, you, have, you can do gl different glass on it. Okay, well, well, we'll worry about that later. Hood, interior, lights. We do need the neon kit. Delivery we'll get back to. I want to get... Yeah, the louvers, is that your... Does that do a traction thing? No. Um, let's see. We're going to do most of this stuff, but we're just going to say spoiler. We need primary ducktails. Ducktails. Ooh. Ducktail. We might change that to a uh, a different ducktail at some point, but we'll for right now. I'm I'm willing to throw some money around. Vent vent braces. That's like a bumper, okay. That's wheels, wheel type, off road, stock rims, concave rally masters. And then, uh. Well, that could have worked for Ruffy symbolically, the concave rally master, because he loves, he's a master of rallies. Wheel color, skip it for now. Tire enhancements, bulletproof. We're not going to be drifting this puppy. Not anytime soon. Windows. Light smoke. Now we can, now that we're, we can race it. We have to kind of set a theme here. I don't know if it's even going to stay blue. Livery. We have white 90s graphics. That kind of works. Black 90s graphics. Shopping list. You know, metric, JDM, 44. See, now this this actually kind of works for the Rusty Jacks. I'm not going to steal that. 10-minute car alt. So there you got the 10-minute car reprint on that. 10-minute car. Oh, if you want the true 10-minute car, you got to get the level of 32. It's. I'm sure everybody's going to do 10-minute car. Okay, so let us let's do that pattern, but with a different a different color, right? Because that's the only thing that gets. Does anything else give you a, a racing number on it? Of course, this is street racing, so really, the JDM might be the way to go. If it was JDM, it'd have the the steering wheel on the other side. The shopping list, the white shopping list. I think I think we go white nineties. And then we go to the respray and I'm I'm completely open minded here as to what we're gonna do. I mean, you know, grace red. It does look good in grace red with the jester. It'd be a nice change of pace for me. I hardly ever do red cars here. Grace red with a pearlescent Torino, just to brighten it up a little bit. Kind of puts you in mind of my, my own Thunderbird paint scheme, so maybe that's a good sign. Secondary color, metallic, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna insert blue. Go back to the grease red. Match it all up so it doesn't even matter what parts I put on it. It's just gonna be that. Trim color. Um, believe it or not, we're gonna go with like a, like a, a cream. Or a sandy brown. Straw brown, a brown of some nature. Saddle brown, beachwood brown, maple brown. So what brown goes with the red best? Seltzer brown, creek brown, bison brown, chocolate brown. Ooh, chocolate brown. Sandy brown almost looks like it has a little bit of green to it. Bleached brown. Let's go bleached brown. 
accent color. Now let's leave it at ice white. We'll go with the stripe. I think leave the body work clean. It's a nice looking car. I think let's not go crazy with this. Spoiler's already good. We need to go to wheels, wheel color. I think frost white. Match it up with the stripe. And the lights. And I think, oh yeah, we'll do, we'll, we will do wheels, we will do tires, we will do tire design. Give them the all-terrain radio look. Exit that puppy. And now we have another option. I just want to see how it feels. I mean, I wanted the car anyway. Oh, you think we should do a, a white interior? Well, white interior. So let's do a white interior because that would then it would tie everything together. It would tie it would tie the whole look together so well. The white and the red, and the white and the red. Redye the interior. There you go. That's that looks good. I'm happy with that. Sometimes you just gotta come up with the theme. We walk around here now. Where is it's over this way? Okay, I'm looking at the map. Let's race the red one. There's always spots open somewhere. I guess we'll see. Well, I don't even know what I got yet. I should have probably taken it on the test track just to fool with it. But I really want to see how it is in a race. That's what the test track would be for, wouldn't it? But I, I do want... Okay, high society again. Because, I mean, the calico is undeniably fast, but it's... Not fun, if I'm honest. You're not going to win if we play with no customs. <laughs> okay, let's let's abandon that for right now. Custom Dinka RR continue. Okay, hopefully that's that's a sign of things to come. Does this vehicle more fit my style of driving? Da -da 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 -da. This is the one where it's hard to fit through. We're gonna do it anyway. Let's see how it feels. It definitely feels more balanced as far as that's concerned. That was just a racing incident. I am getting past a lot, though. I hit the brakes there. But then again, am I pushing the car as hard as I could? Yeah, it's definitely easier to drive, but is it fast enough? I mean, don't get me wrong, no regrets about buying it. It's definitely a no regrets situation. Yeah, it looks good, it feels good. And we're in fifth. Now again, this is a, uh, a course that might really fit to the Calico style. I mean, there's longer straights and stuff like that. It's not, it's not giving, give, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been able to have the hand. It wouldn't have given me the trouble that some of the other courses might have. 
We're, we're going to give this a couple shots. It doesn't have the recovery speed that the Calico does, where you you punch it and you're immediately going faster. I wonder, but it is rear wheel drive, so it should, in theory, allow for mid drive boosts, right? I've never been really good at mid drives, though. Yeah, that, that's not true. I mean, clearly that's not true. It could be that I'm just not making the uh, the shortcuts and that's just going to hurt me, but we'll, we'll see. Or it could be that just I hit stuff constantly. Whoa, 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 it's a little... Little floaty. That guy just lost it. I've already gotten a top three today, and that didn't count, so I have to wait for it. Ooh, he, he screwed that up on his own. Breaks, breaks, breaks! Sorry, do I you outbreaked me? I waited for him. Ah. I am in last. Somebody left. So at least we know top five is possible. Yeah, I had the inside the tight line. I had to slow down. And that cost me a lot. Well, we both wiped out there. That's... Interesting. Didn't take the shortcut again. I always think of the shortcut after I pass it. You still, you know, it's the nicest of nature of the track. I'm still hitting the brakes a lot. I'm hitting them less than I would with the Calico. But I'm not, I'm not closing here. I'm not. You really have to lift early on that hill. On all of them, I guess. What kind of time can I pull down? That's the only thing we can really do here is try to have a good, clean lap. We're not anywhere close to doing anything useful with this. We'll be lucky if we don't DNF. I mean, it could be... You know, maybe I have to drive it like I'm driving the Dominator. Like, the Dominator, I, I assumed, wasn't going to handle. And so I gave it a lot of extra, a lot of extra room on the turns. I was more careful with the turns. Maybe that's what I was doing. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong now. Is I'm assuming that these cars have so much more handling that I'm trying to push them too hard. We're up to 11. That's neat. Did I get any kind of? How far off here? I was off by a lot. But the last lap might have been good. Deceived. 
158. I would way the hell off to pass on that. I'll have to pace on that. Beachfront runner. I mean, I'm willing to give it another chance here. Give the gesture another chance before it becomes a decoration in my auto shop. If, if the next race loads. Okay, here we go. Beach front runner. A lot of... Hopefully those are on bridges, those crisscrosses, but I don't know. It's, it's, I've only done these each of these tra tracks a few times, so I don't, I don't really know. Night, bright. Customs are on. Catch-up and slipstream are off. That's interesting. But customs are on, so... Majas, double lot, uh, you know, considers himself... A serious racer. Thankfully, he has the weather as bright and not raining. We'll get another full boat. I mean, I was racing late last night, so if it goes on a 24 hour timer, I might have to wait till tomorrow to do anything with. Unlocking that free car. It's a very weird situation where it doesn't. Okay, maybe she'll win. Let's see. Not a lot of room up there, but I know if I don't take the boost, I'd really be, really be behind. Go the outside. Get torpedoed. Get wrecked. Survive. Wreck a guy. That really wasn't the goal. And I'm still nearly last. I didn't plan to wreck the guy. He came across me. I mean, that was like, I just held my line. I'm kind of of the mindset now, if I'm, you know, as far as safe re entry, it's kind of screw everybody there. It's just everyone's just. Oh, I'm getting video lag. That's going to hurt. I'm in second to last. So, so far, Jester is not doing that. Now, it could be that I'm just, I was going to say, racing with really good guys, but then there's a massive takeout over there. But that could have been a takeout as opposed to an error. Okay, the Jester did really well on that one. I think the Calico would have pushed on me. So we've just made up four positions. Or three positions, rather. Okay, that was smooth. I missed the turn altogether. I mean, I was thinking going the further up the line. That's going to cost me. And you don't have the acceleration. It does not have that Calico acceleration. I feel like they're closing on me. I feel like I'm not putting down enough pace to keep myself ahead, even in fourth, never let alone close. Go! Oh. I feel like on the straights, people are closing on me, and I might be pulling away in the corners. I, I feel like they'll struggle with the corners because that calico will push. 
Whereas the jester won't. I feel like that shortcut's a, a wash. So where do you make the turn or left or right? That's all. Why did I think I was turning left there? I got into a... I said left, right, and I tricked myself. That could have been... Oh, I just lost like three seconds of time there. On a practical basis, I think. Well, maybe not that much, but it seemed like a lot. I'm still at the point where I'm reacting to the tracks I'm not anticipating. I'm... I'm... I don't know my way well enough. And you'd say, well, I probably should by this point, but I don't. See, brakes don't work when you're in the air. Okay, um... At least I remembered the last mistake. I don't know that I like this enough to buy it again. Yeah, I was sure I was going to get completely wrecked there. Okay, see, he's he's lost it there. I wonder if he's stanced and therefore gets a lot of top speed and he's good enough to hang on to the stance. Because if you stance your car, you lose grip and you gain top speed. But you'd have to be really, really good to hang on to it. Let's try the, the shortcut. I don't know that we gained anything from that. Almost a little Ooh! Now, you could have just passed me, dude. Yeah, so far, it's not gone... It's not gone excellent. I'm willing to give the Jester, you know... The credit that I might not be driving it just right yet. I might not be pushing it as hard as I can the right ways. But there are sometimes you clearly doesn't have that much more turn than the... I mean, we're, we're just we're at the bottom of the pack for a lot of these. <laughs> it's launched it at the end. We, we were close at the end, but I mean... He's running a stock car. That's not going to... Sixth was not great. That's why you don't ram kebab. It's not fast. And he's the the host was right. He, he has him. He's in the same car, but he's 14 seconds faster than I am. What am I doing wrong? It's just a matter of because he's if he's using the uh, using all the shortcuts and knows how to use them. This isn't a good car comparison kind of thing. Back at the rancho, okay. I don't see myself getting a top three with the Jester, honestly. I'm a little disappointed with it. But it does feel better than driving the Calico. It, but it's not... You know, that, that Calico acceleration just seems to... To help it out. Especially a lot of these circuits are kind of... Point and shoot kind of thing. They don't flow well. They're 90 degree turn, 90 degree turn, 90 degree turn. Which I guess makes uh, sense for a street race. He left catch up and slipstream on on this one. That's interesting. Three laps, two hundred is night bright. We're gonna stick with it. 
Just so I can see if I can. I, I want to give the car a chance. So kebab is going to be hitting us. I don't know why people lay on the horns all the time. People are... See, he was in a calico, so he was braking really hard for the... Whoa, dear. Okay. Oh, I got hit. See, you don't have the calico acceleration on the pulling away. Somehow I'm in last. Not in last anymore. Still there. Probably going to be last soon. They're coming. You have three of them really hustling. See, on this track, it feels like it's flowing better. This feels like it's a jester track. That, that, I would have struggled with the calico on that one. Yes, yeah, this, this feels better. There are places. I went to go around him on the outside. Oh, and he got back around, then wrecked again. I'm going to shut up for a while and just drive. Scary. That lag burst caught, caught, let them cut up. Complete takeout on that one. He was just lucky to be able to do it. I'm not getting rattled. I'm just going to drive. He's going to screw it up on his own, I think. Or I'm going to screw it up on my own. He did screw up on his own, but not enough. So I didn't get third, but I didn't. It wasn't near the the back of the pack here, at least. And you know, if he hadn't torpedoed me, I could have probably raised with him. That took out a lot. So there's the dangers of the oh dear, the dangers of the shortcuts. They're not always shorter.
And that little burst of lag there, I don't know what that was, but that, that let them catch up enough, and that's after timing for the final takeout, so, you know. Not about the money at this point, I'm burning money on this DLC, we're not going to make money off of it, I don't think. Miso in again. Mijas. Joss. 108, I was at a, I was at 115. Um... I was ahead of most, but I mean, you know, obviously he's, he's pulling a 108. I don't know what, what he's doing that's that much better. Just maybe he just really knows he has learned all the shortcuts. 5,000 Bommel just, just torpedoed me. Okay, I'm going to try something just for the fun of it here before I switch characters. This is a, a try for the fun of it, last race kind of thing. Can anybody guess what I'm going to do? Non contact. So if you put it on non contact, oh, the, the new host put it on non contact. And then the job, he's not the host that we've left. Because it's an interesting thing. Okay, both of those cars, the uh, the Calico and the Jester RR, or the Jester as we could call it, they're faster than my Dominator. But I have not enjoyed driving them. I don't understand why. Whereas, like, I feel like if I even if I'm, I'm last place here driving the Dominator GTT, I'm enjoying myself. It's a weird. It's a psychological thing. So we're going to pull up the, the Dominator for this last race before I switch over. And maybe this is probably enough for this video. I'll switch over to Rusty Jack for the next one. Maybe get him a... Get him the, the garage while it's free. We'll unlock it. We'll do the setup and then go from there. Or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just buy it and never go there. Do we have a better chance getting a top three? In the car that I like driving. I mean, I might end up dead last, but I'm saying I just enjoy the car a little bit more. Or maybe I won't enjoy it, and then we'll just say, hey, you know, I'm just not on today. Oh, the cacophony. All right, that slid out too far. I'm a little bit. I have to get readjusted to it, I guess. Or I'll just see how exactly how the car is only a mid-tier car. At best. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and sneak my way up through there. I like the wide roads.
bounce around a lot, but I, I'm having a better time driving. Does that make any sense? Oh, I, w I was going for just a perfect line on that, and it just uh, clipped the tree. I'll ruin my late race like that. That was a lot of seconds lost. But let's... Okay, trees are not my friend on this circuit. I'm getting a blast, aren't I? Because I am having problems. Hey, I'm just not on today. Whoa, yeah, we had too long to break on that. Maybe I'm getting mixed expectations here, you know? That would have been a takeout if it wasn't for the fact that it was non-contact. That would have been a takeout if it wasn't for the fact that it's non-contact. I'm way behind. Alright, we're not winning. We're not getting top three. We're just gonna... Scoot along. See, now I'm kind of in a rhythm. I'm not pushing it. I'm not overdriving. I feel, it feels better. I mean, that's my own old problem. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. It's I'm overdriving. Yeah, that's my problem with all the cars. Lower your expectations and just drive. I'm thinking that's not my personal best, but you know. I think I'm going to DNF. I think I'm that far back. Those couple of trees. I'm pulling two minute laps. They're probably pulling 130. But I don't feel as frustrated. It's I mean, this is a matter of changing expectations. I'm just, yeah, at that point, see, now I'm kind of getting to the flow of the track. I'm just kind of enjoying myself. I like this car. I, I think in the long run. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use this car more or the Calico. I don't know that I'm using the Jester. I'm going to combine another one. I won't DNF. Now, how good was my lap when I stopped making mistakes? You know? Ooh. What the heck was that?
That was not normal vehicle physics. The host seems to win a lot. The host. Yeah, 138 to 153. And they got 153. Which is good as the Jester RR and the, most of the other people there. My, my best lap, except for the top two. I don't know. You want to do one more calico against these guys and see if I've... Got what it takes to pull a top three. If I'm not trying. If I'm not overdriving the car. Let's do that. And then you'll get to see all my, my tuners in this uh, in this event. It's a non-contact again. That helps us. Right back at the Rancho. The map. Yeah, this one, I think, you know, there's a lot of hard turns in this, and I think the acceleration is probably going to do as well if we take the... Despite there being a Mustang in the picture, I don't think it's a Mustang track. Although that is kind of the paint job I'm thinking for Rusty's Mustang in the long run. Not exactly, but... Full boat. Let's see what we can do. Non-contact. I don't have to worry about getting in anyone's way. I'm going to take my time. Someone's going to torpedo me. They'll go right through me. I think there is a huge advantage in these races for being on pole. Not so much so when it's um, non-contact, but still. This will probably be my 1267 plus, but... Let's see how it goes. And then we'll wrap this up. If it loads. Zen doo, doo left, and that may mean that things have gone badly. The girl in front is in serious trouble. See now I'm not trying to I'm not trying to, to, to match anybody's pace. I'm just gonna go through and drive gentle. Just to see how it goes. Yeah. I'm gonna lose stuff there unless they have trouble getting through the shortcut. Yeah, I was I didn't have any gas for that whole set of turns. Still pushed. But again, the acceleration you can kind of do, but you really need brakes, not just coasting. And brakes early.
Oh, goodness. That really pushed. Oh, um, this is gonna kill him. How am I still in third? How? There's no way that was my personal best with those wrecks at the end. Smooth. I want to drive smooth. Well, I set up my turns. Down the brakes way almost till you're stopped for some of these. So much brakes. Where did he go? The lagification of a nation. Wow, that's. Okay, I can believe that might be. What the? F what is happening in this this race? And we actually got a third out of it, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't think that counts. <laughs> I don't think I'm in. What time period is a day? I don't know. Does it go from your last third place? Does it go from your first third place of that day? That looked unpleasant. Someone has said the heck with it. They said the absolute heck with all of this. I'll find my own shortcut. And we're going to say the classic GG guys got to go when I can. And we'll see. We'll see if we can get the prize car. Booga, booga. What do I, I'm still seven seconds off the pace. We'll get there. I guess I, maybe I just have to learn the tracks better, you know? Ciao. That's good. Everybody was in a Calico. And let's go. Let's go back and see if it still says two of three. Even though you know, I, I was racing yesterday, racing last night, racing today. Media sticks, okay. Because people still use those, right? Let's just sync it with my phone. Download right off the web, off the internet. Come on, please just let me in the session already. Come on. Am 
I'm gonna get down there, claim my my victory car here. Not that I even know what I'm doing. And we're not too far off here. A lot of business battles. The adjuster's not bad. I don't know. Again, I don't know that I'll buy one. For Rusty Jack. Maybe when I get the trade price. Or it ends up on a prime sale. Okay, so I go in. Still two or three. Place top three in the street race ser series. Street race series race for three days in a row. I guess this was still two days. How do you set the day? I just don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't know. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do one more thing. Now we're going to switch characters and call this a, call this a day. Exit the LS car meet. Aloha, indeed. Because that was enough, but we're going to take this back. Sparrow on the way. Hopefully he's not like, you know, in the interest of shooting me with missiles. Okay. Can we go through here? Yep. Good to know. Enter your auto shop. This will probably be the most popular auto shop because for all the prime people, I think it's for all the prime people, it's free. Well, if it's just free for everybody. It's a free for all, but it's going to be a free for all once everybody's using the same auto shop. What? Very heavy child left. Okay, well then. So you got those two. Exit out of shop. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's coming at you. I think the I think the bruffy Sugoi should be a proper decoration here. Let's see how it looks. You can enter another auto shop. You can pull your car into somebody else's auto shop? Oh, that's interesting. I wonder, should we put the concave? They do look better. That would look better that way. Let's do this. Q to modify your vehicle. I Q to modify my vehicle. Is my Q not working? That doesn't work. Q. Do I have to hold it? 
Nowhere to lie, I'm hitting the queue. Can you only modify the other cars? Nope, that's just broken. Well, at least it's here. I'm sure they'll they'll fix that at some point. I imagine you'd have to be buzzed in if you're entering another auto shop, and I don't feel like hanging out right now. So, on that disappointing note, that we can't change the wheels on this right now to make it look more like those two. Um, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.